What's up? How are you? Good morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're early. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. How's everybody doing today? How's how's everybody's Friday? Morning, afternoon, yeah. Uh, it's in about two minutes will be afternoon for me. Okay, South Africa, 6 p.m. All right. Doing anything fun tonight? Just getting started. Manhattan, hello. Hi. So I think um, it's been requested to do some emotion code today. So we're gonna open up some hearts. Hey, how are you? So we'll do that for a little bit and maybe do some Reiki afterwards. It depends on how, how long I go. So we're gonna be doing some emotion code. So, and if you hear my cat in the background, she's crazy. So emotion code is another energy healing modality. There's a lot of them out there, a lot of different healing modalities. And this one, we're using the good old subconscious mind to uncover what's going on. What's going on in your body? We're gonna be focusing on the heart wall today. And I'll get into that. So the emotion code, we use a subconscious mind through muscle testing to identify the trapped emotions or the suppressed emotions you have in your body that are creating symptoms or creating your heart wall. If you are new or unfamiliar with muscle testing, we do have a built-in lie detector, <laughs> detector, detector in our bodies. Whenever we say anything positive or true, our muscle goes strong. If we say anything negative or false, our muscle goes weak. So we have this built-in communication center to communicate with our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind remembers everything, everything we sa said, done, seen, tasted, thought, and it knows why you have symptoms in your body, the physical, emotional, or mental symptoms. It also tells us um, if you got a heart wall or not and what's going on in your heart wall. So through muscle testing, I'm going to be asking yes or no questions to figure out what's going on. And with the emotion code, we focus on emotions. I know this is reversed, but I have this chart of negative emotions because we like, most of us like feeling the positive emotions. We know how to process them because they feel good. So most of the time we don't suppress the, the positive ones, but we do suppress the negative ones because they hurt. We don't want to feel it. Depending on how we were raised, were we told, you know, expressing your emotions was good? Was it bad? Uh, were we told that it made us weak to feel our emotions or it just doesn't feel good and we don't want to be like mm, i'm just gonna sit with this depression and enjoy it no we usually run away from it we usually suppress it in whatever way there's a bunch of different ways i'm sure you have a few of your favorites as do i so these emotions they're it, emotions are just energy in motion I like to compare emotions to the wind. We can't see the wind. Like if you look up in the sky, can you tell if there's wind? Like if the clouds aren't moving, <laughs> it's just clear sky. No, how do you see the wind? You, you feel it, nice breeze, or you see the trees moving. You don't really see the wind. And with the wind, it could be very nice on a hot summer day, it's a nice little breeze, or it can be destructive where it can, tear apart a house, it can pick up things, move it a couple miles and drop it, very destructive. So if you think of the nice breezy emotions, those are our positive emotions. Or, well, if we suppress our emotions, if we hold on to them, that's when they become destructive. So they can go either way. So with the, the emotion code, we're just going to release those suppressed emotions. Now with the heart wall, we, we love our subconscious mind. Oh, we do. We love our ego. <laughs> we do. <laughs> but whenever we experience heartache, we experience just pain, anything that hurts here, your subconscious mind's like, oh, oh, hell no, absolutely not. Nope, never again. Nope, we're not going to do that. So it takes the emotions that you've already suppressed that are already in your body, and it creates this wall around your heart. 
Good, great. We don't experience the, the negative emotions. We feel a little more emotionally numb, but we also can't feel those positive emotions. So this heart wall can be a couple feet, it can be a mile, it really depends, and it can be made up of a couple different emotions, okay? And so when you have this heart wall, like I said, you feel emotionally numb, depressed, anxiety, and you have relationship difficulties because if you're sending pure love to someone, it has to go through your heart wall. So pure love created, <laughs> and then it has to go through your heart wall of anxiety, sadness, rejection, shame, whatever it is, it's pulling down the frequency of love. And so when it gets to someone, if they have a heart wall, pulling down the frequency of love. And by the time they get it, they're like, whoa, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> Thanks. Same thing if someone's giving you pure love, it has to go through their heart wall, your heart wall. When you get it, you maybe you're offended. And so there's that relationship difficulty because you're like, why don't you love me? Why don't you love me? And they're like, I do love you. I do love you. It's because the you're not getting that pure love that you guys are sending to each other. So physical signs of a heart wall, chest pain, upper back pain, neck pain, and shoulder pain. So that being said, we're going to be releasing them. Now, not every time, not everyone's going to be able to release their heart wall in one session. I've seen it done. Now, I've been seeing it done a lot, especially if people are like, you know, what? I'm done. I'm done with this. I just want to heal. I'm over it. Take it all. Wait, like people who are just really ready, they're done. They're fed up. I usually see the heart wall get released one session. But if you're still working through what I have noticed, if you're still working through vulnerability, like vulnerability is not your thing, then thank you, Crystal, then you're not going to release your heart well in the first session, maybe one or two. That's usually normal. So don't be surprised or don't feel like you're doing anything wrong if you only release one or two or three. Sometimes we need some time to be okay with vulnerability and your subconscious mind's like, nope, that's all I'm gonna do, that's it. So we're gonna be doing that today. So I think that's all I want to say. So how I do this, how this works is, like I've said, similar to Reiki, we are all connected. We're working with the source energy, the subtle energies, we're all connected. There is no time and space. So with intention and with whoever I'm working with, their consent. I just move my subconscious mind aside and I welcome theirs. I will not be able to read your mind. I don't want to read your mind. Uh, <laughs> so all I'm doing is I'm using my body to communicate with your subconscious mind. This is a muscle test that I do out. Uh, I think it's called the log. I don't know. So when I say yes, it's strong. When I say no, it goes weak. So that's how I'm going to be figuring out what is contributing to your heart wall, what emotions are made up in your heart wall. So let's see what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, so even though I'm working on one person specifically, if you resonate with any emotion that comes up, you know how if you get that like ping in your stomach or like you get the um, the chills up your spine, you whatever that means to you when you resonate with something, Set the intention that as I'm releasing this, it's releasing it for the person I'm working on, it releases from you as well. There is no restrictions to this energy, okay? So it's very similar to the Reiki, just a little more interactive. Um, 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 and there's something else I wanted to say, but I don't remember. Okay, yeah. So you guys are ready? Awesome, cool. This is this is a lot of fun. So I'm gonna be asking questions and answering them. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of, ah. So um, I'll try to get to your questions if I see them. If Because um, I, I try to answer your, your questions the best of my ability. Thank you, Brandy. Um, so yeah. Uh, so how this works is I'm just gonna go through and identify the emotion. And then sometimes, and then I'm going to identify the age. If we need to know more, because I'll ask, all right, is that, is that all we need to know? <laughs> can we, can we release this SOB? Um, it'll, your subconscious mind will tell me yes or no. If we need to know more, then I will find out the gender. If it was a friend, a family member, an event. And that's as far as I'm going. I'm not going to dig into your personal life. But most of the time, just knowing the age and the emotion is good enough. And then I release it with 
a magnet, the magnets, my favorite. So I just run it down my right hand and I just do this a couple times and it's released. So when we identify the emotion, it kind of comes up and the magnet pulls it through the meridians out up hand. You can even do this by going through the governing meridian like that, but you can also use your right hand. So to do this, I, so I'll just need a first name and I will need an age. So whoever wants to get this done, don't spam. Once I find someone like stop. And then when, um, when I'm done with this person, then I will look for the next one. Okay. Get a little closer. Okay, first one I saw was William 45. William 45, and then I'm gonna write your username down so I can find you easier. <laughs> okay, so you may experience sensations when releasing when releasing emotions from your heart, well, you may not, okay? So if you do start to get a little like teary eye and you get angry and emotion pops up, it's completely normal, don't overthink it, okay? So how I do this is I'm just gonna set the intention to, are we supposed, yeah, put your current, yeah, current age. Do you need a license for what you do? Um, The emotion code you can actually, I'm, I'm certified in emotion code and body code. Oh, hello, Japan. First time. I think this is the first time I had someone from Japan. Welcome. So I'm certified emotion code and body code practitioner. The book, The Emotion Code, teaches you how to do this. So you can do this with friends and family. All right. So I'm going to set the intention to move my subconscious mind aside and... Okay, so we are now connected. So when I say my name is Samantha, weak. When I say my name is William, strong. Okay, so I am now William. <laughs> so I'm going to say, do you have a heart wall? No. So it says you do not have a heart wall. Sometimes your subconscious mind's like, no, nothing over here. Look that way. There's nothing over behind the curtain. So uh, it's trying to protect you. So when I say, do you have a hidden heart wall? Yes. So you do have a heart wall. So uh, it's trying to hide it it wants to protect you so when i say do you have a heart wall it's strong do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now yes so i'm just going through the chart now so figuring out what row or what column then what row and then i read in my head each emotion until i get a positive read so the first one is shame did this happen before did this happen before 20? Yes, before 10, no. After 10, yes. After 15, no. 10, 11. So this happened around 11 years old. A lot goes on <laughs> in a, every young person's life around 11 years old. Uh, so it can be give or take 11 years old. So 10, 11, or 12 years old. Do you need to know more? No. So you don't need to know more. So I'm going to go ahead and release it. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Thank you, Allie. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So we have shame. And this doesn't mean that at 11 years old, like from the previous one at 11 years old, you got a heart wall. This is just your subconscious mind picking the emotions already in your body and creating that wall, okay? All right, so shame, did this happen before the age of 20? Yes, before 10, no, after 10, yes, after 15, yes. 15, 16, 17 years old. So I'm not, I'm not a psychic, I'm not a tarot reader. We're doing emotion code. So around 17 years old, so 16, 17, or 18 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. I'm not picking anybody right now, you guys, so don't put your names out there and your age. I'm not even paying attention to that right now, okay? Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. 
So now we have panic. Did this happen before the age of 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Hey, Andrew, what's up? Yes. Um, after five? No. So zero, one, two, three. So panic around three years old. And this can be anything. This doesn't have to be anything serious. Like at a young age, like if someone just goes boo, you know, you can get scared. I mean, kids are just like innocent. So don't think... It has to be a serious event. It could be anything. You could have watched Jaws on TV for the first time and it scared the crap out of you. So do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release this trapped emotion of panic. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? No. So you are only able to, William, release three trapped emotions in your heart wall. You still have a heart wall, but how do you feel, William? And I'm just connected from you. Thank you, Tammy. William, you feel great? Awesome, okay, perfect. So releasing the three is still gonna make a huge difference, okay? Why, okay. All right, so the next person, I just need your first name and your age. All right, and I see Lisa Brown with two W's. Seventeen years old. All right. So I'm going to move my subconscious mind aside. Welcome yours. Saying, okay, so when I say my name is Lisa, strong. When I say my name is Samantha, it's weak. I am not Samantha. Hello, I'm doing very well. How are you? Okay, so Lisa, do you have a heart wall? Yes, do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So we have shame. Did this happen before the age? Okay, so you're 17. So before the age of 10, no. After 10, yes. After 15, no. Uh, 10, 11, so 11 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So blaming. Did this happen before 10? No, after 10? Yes, after 15? No. 10, 11, 12 years old? Do you need to know more? No. So let's release it. When I get a weird tingle from hearing these means I also resonate in a way. Yes. So... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I figured since it's a holiday weekend, this sh movie is on always on the weekend. So if something resonates with you, whatever that means, if you get a tingle or like a shock, like, oh my gosh, then it resonates with you. So set the intention that as I'm releasing it from Lisa or whoever I'm working on, it's also being released from you. Okay. Because there are no limits to this energy. So I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of blaming. Ooh, that one made me feel nauseous. Lisa, how are you feeling? Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Where? Lisa Brown, just wanna double check that she's okay or how she's doing. So do you have a heart wall? Yes, do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. This is unworthy. Good morning, John. Did this happen before 10? No, after 10, yes. I'm doing fantastic. Uh, after, I'm not picking anybody right now, you guys. Um, after 15, no. You feel good? Okay. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 14 years old. Do you need to know more? 
No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of unworthy. Hello. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? No. Do you have a hidden heart wall? No. I figured you're so young. I figured you weren't going to have a lot of trapped emotions in your heart wall, but I didn't want to say that because I don't know your life, but <laughs> so I don't know what you've experienced, but Lisa, you are free from a heart wall. So congratulations. You feel good? Awesome. I have this like thing right here. Let's see, who shall I choose next? You're welcome, Lisa. Wanda, boom. Wanda 46, so Wanda 1975. Nineteen seventy five, forty six. All right, Wanda. So if you weren't here for everything, so what this is going to look like is that we're going to be opening up your heart. We, whenever we experience intense emotion, heartache, grief, anything that hurts our heart, our subconscious mind panics, it overreacts and it takes the emotions already suppressed in our body and it creates a wall around our heart. It prevents us from giving and receiving love properly. Thank you, queen. It prevents us from feeling any positive emotion. We feel emotionally numb. We can feel depressed, anxiety, having relationship difficulties and uh, chest pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, and upper back pain. Okay. So you may not release your full heart wall today. It really depends on your views of vulnerability because this is your protective barrier. Your subconscious does not want you to feel vulnerable. So if you're kind of like with vulnerability, you probably won't be able to release, release it today. Completely normal. I've only seen like a hand, literally a handful of people who have released their well, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa's a little baby, but uh, a handful of people who've actually released a trapped emotion in a one and done situation. Okay. But if you release a couple trapped emotions from your heart wall, you're still going to notice a huge difference in your life. So do you have a heart wall? No. Wait a second. I did not connect you. So <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I don't have a heart wall. So I'm going to uh, move my subconscious mind aside and I'm going to welcome yours. Okay, so when I say my name is Wanda, it is strong. When I say my name is Samantha, it's false. So do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. Did this happen? How old are you? 46. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? Yes. 15, 16, 17 years old. Do you need to know more? No. So let's get rid of it. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of low self-esteem. Did you release the trapped emotion of low self-esteem? Yes, thank you, queen. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Worthless. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? Yes. After 40? No. After 35? Yes. 35, 36, 37 years old. And this is give or take a year. So this can be 36, 37, or 38. Now, even though I'm not interacting with you and asking you questions like, do you remember around this age where you experience a worthless, um, a memory might pop up or you may not know at all. If you don't remember, that's okay. Like I said, the subconscious mind just needs to know the emotion and the age. But if your subconscious mind wants you to remember, in the next couple of days, you're going to have flashes of memories. So be prepared for that. So do you need to know more? So no, you don't need to know more. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of worthless.
Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall? You can release right now. Yes. So unworthy. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? No. After 25? No. 20, 21. Hello. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of unworthy. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Betrayal. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? No. After 25? No. 20, 21, 22, and a 23. So 23, betrayal around 23 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of betrayal. Did you release the trapped emotion of betrayal? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall? You can release right now. Yes. Londa, we might be releasing your heart wall today. <laughs> You're just like, I'm done. I'm over it. Get rid of it. I'm over it. <laughs> All right. Taken for granted. And just a reminder to everybody, if you resonate with any of these that we're, we are releasing, set the intention. It is released for you as well. So did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? No. After 25? No. 20, 21, 22, 23. Do you need to know more? No. You're welcome, Wanda. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of taken for granted. How are you feeling, Wanda? Hey, Violet Phoenix. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Frustration. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, 12 years old. Frustration around 12. I think we all can resonate with that one. Do you need to know more? No. You're feeling good? Awesome. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of frustration. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall? You can release right now. Yes. Wanda. Panic. Did this happen before the age of 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Yes. After five? Yes. Five, six, six years old. Do you need to know more? No. Is there an, whoops, is there another imbalance? That was body code. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of panic. Thank you, Holly. We are doing the emotion code. We're releasing heart walls, opening up that heart. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. All right, Wanda, let's see. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall? You can release right now. Yes. So we have abandonment. Abandonment. Did this happen before 20? No, after 20. Yes, after 30? No, after 25? Yes, 25, 26, 27. Abandonment at 27. I'm not picking anybody, guys. If you keep spamming your name and everything, the mods will mute you, okay? Because I'm not picking anybody right now. Um, do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of abandonment. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. All right, Wanda. 
Do you have a trap or do you have, do you have a trapped emotion? Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. I think Wanda, I think we're 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 going for the whole thing. <laughs> so we have depression. Depression. Did this happen before 20? No. Before 20, no. After 20, yes. After 30, no. After 25, yes. 25, 26, 27. Do you need to know more about this? No. Let's get rid of it. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of depression. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes, Wanda. Fear. We have fear. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Yes. After five? No. Zero, one, two, three, four years old. So fear around four. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of fear. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? No. Do you have a hidden heart wall? No. Wanda, you are clear. You must have been like, I'm over this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You had ten trapped emotions in your heart wall. That's absolutely amazing. So drink plenty of water. You may have some emotional processing. You may have processing after this. Uh, minor aches and pains, feeling fatigue, um, emotional processing. So you might feel a little sad or angry, completely normal, should not last more than a day or so, but that's phenomenal. Your heart is wide open, ready for love. Oh, thank you for the galaxy. And I think it was Empress, thank you. So I'm going to, whoa, hold on. How do you feel, how do you feel? I'm so, wow, so happy to get rid of that. Uh, my name is Samantha, Samantha, Samantha. We are disconnected. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab water really fast. You feel awesome? Perfect. Okay, let's see. So this is um, Violet Phoenix. This is muscle testing. So we have a built-in lie detector in our bodies. Whenever we say anything true or positive, our muscles go strong. I can't talk. If we say anything negative or false, our muscle goes weak. So when I ask yes or no questions, that's kind of how I'm figuring out, you know, what's going on. No, I got water on my chart. All right. All right, Melissa31, because you said please. <laughs> okay, so humbled, intuitive soul. And Melissa31. Okay. So I'm no longer taking names. I already have, I already, Melissa has been chosen. She is the chosen one. Thank you, Blue Echo. All right, so um, Melissa, I don't know if you've been here the whole time or not, but we're gonna be releasing your heart wall. This wall is something your subconscious mind creates um, whenever you, you get hurt and it hurts, like heartache, like, whoa, doesn't feel good. And it doesn't want, your subconscious doesn't want you to be vulnerable anymore. So it creates a wall around your heart. It just takes those suppressed emotions you already have in your body and it creates a wall. So this is great and all because you don't feel, you don't feel the negative emotions as much. You still feel them, but they're not as painful, but you also don't feel the good ones. And so you don't get love. When people are sending you love, you don't get it. It's 
the frequency of love is pulled down. Who knows what you get? Uh, so it causes relationship difficulties, feeling numb, depression, and anxiety. It also causes chest pain, upper back pain, neck pain, and shoulder pain. So depending on if you're okay with being vulnerable or not, you may release your heart wall today, or you might only release a couple trapped emotions from your heart wall. It's still going to be, um, you're still going to notice a difference if you release a couple trapped emotions. So don't feel like you're failing or anything like that. This is exactly what I have been closed off, holding myself back in fear and pain. Okay. Yeah. So this, this will help. This will help you definitely. All right. So I'm going to set the intention to move my subconscious mind aside and welcome you, your subconscious mind. I won't be able to read your mind. So, all right, we are connected. When I say my name is Melissa Strong, when I say my name is Samantha, it's weak. So I'm gonna ask, do you have a heart wall? No. So your subconscious mind could be hiding it because again, it's trying to protect you. It doesn't want to release the heart wall. So it's like, nope, nothing here. <laughs> it's like hiding it. It's like in front of it. Like, nope, nothing here. No, no, no. So when I say, is there a hidden heart wall? Yes, it's strong. So when I say, do you have a heart wall? We got a positive read. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So we identify if you have a heart wall, which you do. And then we ask permission if we can release it right now. Your subconscious mind's like, yeah, okay. I think we can release one. So now I'm just going to use my chart of wonderful emotions and figure out what is this trapped emotion that is part of your heart wall. So we have fear. So did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11. So around 11 years old. Now, this doesn't have to be anything serious. You could have watched the, the movie Jaws or Poltergeist and it scared you or it was something more serious. So don't overthink it too much. If you don't know, that's okay. If usually the first... The first thing that pops in your head, the first memory that pops in your head is the right one. But if nothing is popping in your head, that's okay too. And if your subconscious mind thinks that you sh you need to know in the next couple of days, you're going to be flooded with memories. So do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of fear. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Unworthy. Did this happen before <coughs> your throat chakra is blocked? <laughs> um, did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. <clears throat> After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, 12 years old. <clears throat> Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of unworthy. Yes, I have heard this about my throat shock. <laughs> Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. We have shame. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Yes. After five? Yes. Five, six years old shame. And again, this can be give or take a year, five, six, or seven. I'm having trouble finding out why I keep hearing speak, speak. I'm, hold on, I need to read this. I, I was having, oh, I was reading it completely wrong. I was, I was having trouble finding out why I keep hearing speak my truth. Um, speak your truth just mean, could, is just being your authentic self, which is probably the hardest thing to do for a lot of people. Cause we, we worry about, um, what other people think of us. So that can be it. Um, rejection and all that fun stuff. A good morning. <laughs> well, good afternoon. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so do you need to know more about this? No. 
I set the intention to release a trapped emotion of shame. Hello. Oh, Michael, that's so sweet. Thank you. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Wait. Oh my gosh. Let's turn my page here. So we have abandonment. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Yes. After five? No. T 10. Zero, one, two, three years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of abandonment. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> I got really lightheaded. I was like, Oof. did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Horror. Horror. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? No. After 25? Yes. 25? 26 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release a trapped emotion of horror. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Unworthy. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? Yes. 30, 30. So this is a, a recent one. So 31. Do you need to know more? No. Hello, everybody. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of unworthy. Did you release the trapped emotion of unworthy? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. All right. Melissa. Discouragement. Did this happen before the age of 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, 12 years old. I think we all can resonate with that one as well. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of emotion for me. It's good. Good. Are you releasing? Yeah, it's just be nice to yourself. You're, you're getting all that stuff out. We want it out. So process it the best that you can. Hello. Do you need to know more? No. Oh, thank you, Michael. That's so sweet. Thank you. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of discouragement. Did you release the trapped emotion of discouragement? Yes. How are you feeling, Melissa? Those last two made me feel really lightheaded, so I'm just checking up on you. Is anybody else releasing stuff too? No, I'm, so I'm doing muscle testing. I'm talking to the subconscious mind. Emotional light, big overwhelming, big, yeah. I'm feeling, yeah. Whew. I keep getting like that surge of energy and I get lightheaded. Yeah, you feel dizzy too? Let's all, water, let's, let's all take some water. <laughs> let's drink some water, everybody. And then we'll continue. We'll see if you have anything, any, see, I can't even talk. If you have any more trapped emotions in your heart wall that you can release. I'm still feeling, 
I was actually 30 minutes early, so you weren't late. I was early, so I'm the problem. That's my feelings, a surge up of random, overwhelming emotion. Yeah. How do you know which emotion from chart? Okay, so what I do is, so I do the muscle testing. So I'm looking for a positive read. So I'm looking for a yes, that's positive. That's when your muscles are strong. So I just, in my head, I say column A, get a, I do the muscle test. Do I get a positive read? If I don't, then I go to co uh, column B. Do I get a positive read? Now, sometimes if I get a negative read for both, this could be inherited. So something that you're, wonderful parents your ancestors gave to you thank you queen um so then i would ask if it's inherited and do the same process but let's say column b and i know this is reversed so then i go is it in even or odd row if it's if i get a positive read that it's in even then i do row two four six till i get a positive read so then say it's like column b row two so I just read in my head each emotion until I get a positive read. And that's all you do. That's all you do. You have a lot of these emotions. Okay. All right. All right, Melissa, <laughs> let's get to it. <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to be wanting to release a lot. It's, it's actually not that difficult. Like, it seems overwhelming, uh, but it's really simple. I highly recommend getting the book, The Emotion Code, and you the he teaches you how to do it. Teaches you about heart walls. <laughs> Hello. Um, and it, like, what emotion code is and what emotion, how emotions get suppressed and all that fun stuff. Uh, so I highly recommend it. <laughs> you have the book. Um, okay, so let's continue. I'm just going to make sure I'm still connected. Perfect. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. We have shame. Did this happen before 20? Yes, before, um, so, um, girl, these like surges of energy. So before 20, yes. Before 10, no. After 10, yes. After 15, no. 10, 11, 12 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. It's, did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. It's not exhausting you muscle testing. No, mm -mm. this is very simple. It's easy. At first it was very difficult and exhausting for me. Okay. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. We have shame. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? Yes. 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. Hello. It's just a surge. It kind of goes from zero to a million. <laughs> Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? No. Do you have a hidden heart wall? No. Melissa, congratulations. You no longer have a heart wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you had nine trapped emotions in your heart wall. So, so how are you feeling? I'm just going to disconnect. So you do it fast too, it's just practice. I've been doing this for a really long time that I just like, I kind of zone out. <laughs> just focus on the muscle testing. Yeah, it's just a split second, I feel my blood pressure. There's a, thank you. So Melissa, I highly recommend doing some nervous system regulation, calming your nervous system, because it's, it will help you instead of your emotions going from zero to a million, it might go from like zero to a thousand and then zero to a hundred. So meditation is really good. EFT tapping where you tap on meridian points, there's breath work. What else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, there's just so many things. I would start adding that to your everyday life 
And so then when you notice like an emotion starting to be created or pop up, you can catch it and you can start figuring out why you're feeling this way and kind of interrogate your ego. Be like, why? What's going on, dude? What's, what are you doing? See if there's any questions. I feel different physically and I am a bit panicked feeling. Um, it could just be your your wall's gone so you're exposed to your subconscious mind it's okay keep telling yourself that you're safe and secure it's okay to be vulnerable it makes you strong to be vulnerable say whatever you need to say to yourself to calm yourself calm your ego calm your subconscious mind you're welcome Oh, so, um, what is it? Is it Beatrice? Yeah, the sway test. That's how I started. So when I learned the emotion code, I learned the sway test. And when I got comfortable with it, I moved to this muscle testing. And I would kind of thank you. Uh, I Is it Sid? Thank you. I would go back and forth. So I would do the muscle testing here and I was like, oh, I don't know if that was right. And then I would do the sway test and it would confirm that it was right. So that's how I built my confidence doing this muscle test. And then I trusted myself more and I was able to do this quicker and more efficient. You're welcome, Melissa. I've started doing all of this, just not consistent. Yeah, you just, you don't have to do Oh, little ducky, thank you. You don't have to do all these things at once, like um, nervous system regulation. You just need one. I mean, you can try them at first if you don't know which one works best for you, and then just stick with one. You don't have to, you don't have to meditate three hours a day. You don't have to do anything ridiculous. Just work with what you got, uh, what resonates with you. If meditating for 15 minutes a day is good enough, even if you just do it for five minutes, good enough. So do I do paid services? Yes. So I, I do emotion code, body code, Reiki, and a mindset coach. And if you are in the Ohio Akron area, I do access bars as well. I can't do access bars um, remote through video. It has to be in person. And so all my sessions and pricing and everything is on my website at levelupheeling.net. You can go to the link in my bio as well. All my services are on there. What I do, I do offer something called the works where we do a little bit of everything. So if you're like, I don't know, it's kind of like, um, like, uh, what do they do? Those appetizers? What is that? What are those called? <laughs> like an appetizer tray where you get to pick three. Yeah. All right. So scrolling. I'm just answering questions right now. Is there any... Okay, let's see. When you ask if we need to know more, what could we learn from testing? Are those more questions? Yes. Okay, Carly. So when I ask if we need to know more, sometimes the subconscious is like, you need more information in order to release this. Like nine times out of 10, you just need to know the emotion and the age. And it's like, we're good. Uh, and then by asking, you know, if you need to know more and if it's like, no, you can move on, then we release it. But you can still investigate it. If it says, yes, we do need to know more, we can find out the gender. If it was a family member, a friend, an event, we can get as detailed as you want. When I'm doing it, I... I, as far as I go, is the, the gender, if it was a family member, a friend, or an event. That's as, as far as I go, especially on here. But in person, if you want to go further, we can. Uh, it's really up to you, but I just don't want to, <laughs> you know, go through your personal life if you don't want me to. So, yeah, you can ask the subconscious mind anything. You just can't predict the future by doing muscle testing. It's hard to do the muscle testing on yourself. It takes practice. I recommend doing the sway test first, learning the sway test, and then 
picking, there's so many different muscle testing techniques out there. Just find one that works for you. I like this one because I can like be lazy about it. There's some where you like, you push your arm down and things like that. So just play around with it, but don't, don't overthink it. You're welcome. You're so fast with it. When I do it on myself, uh, I'm so slow. But it, it was it mystic moon magic. It takes time. Just like learning how to play piano. <laughs> I've never played piano, but I know it's, I tried and I can't do it. You have to like get the technique, get it right when you do it slowly. And then you can speed up a little bit. Don't be too hard on yourself. You're learning a new technique. Give, your, give yourself some patience. You're good. Yeah. Sampler. Okay, I just got to all your comments about the uh, the, the appetizer sampler. Yes, thank you. Sam sampler platter. Yeah, so the works is my sampler platter. So we do emotion code, body code, Reiki, and I do a little bit of code, like mindset coaching. If you're in person with me, then we can, and if you don't want to do the emotion code or body code, we could do the access bars with the Reiki. How do you really know that Reiki works via the phone or watching? So Reiki, we're, we're using source energy or life force energy. This is all around us. We give and receive this energy. We are this energy. So how it works is you just have to accept it. It's kind of like waiting for, for your consent. It's all around, you know, you have free will. Whether you not, not you want to allow this energy to release anything that no longer serves you. So you're in control of everything. I thought it had to be in person. The, the access bars has to be in person. That is the only healing modality that I practice that has to be in person. But emotion code, body code, Reiki does not have to be in person. How long am I doing this? I can probably do this for another 30 minutes. I'm just asking questions. Can you ask further if it says you don't know? Yes. Suffering. Suffering severe anxiety. How do I break the cycle? Ginger skies. You need to start regulating your nervous system. Okay. Meditation, EFT tapping, um, breath work. And when you get into that, when you start getting anxiety, be in control of your thoughts. Don't don't give in to the anxiety and start having worry thoughts because your thoughts create your emotions. So if you get a panic attack and then you're like, oh my God, what's going on? What's going on? Why am I feeling this way? I shouldn't be feeling this way. You're, you're feeding the anxiety. You're feeding the panic attack. So treat your anxiety like um, your best friend, uh, the old version of yourself and calm it down. Like everything's cool. We're good. Breathe through it. Everything's going to be okay. Just deescalate it. Okay. It's like you're, you're talking your, your ego down. Like, listen, dude, calm down. You're good. Maybe don't tell it to calm down. <laughs> if that's a trigger for you, maybe don't say that. But like, dude, it's okay. You're fine. It's all right. It, you're safe. You're secure. Whatever you need, uh, whatever works for you in that moment. Okay. So overthinker, I can never do this on myself practice. Can heart walls come back after they're cleared? Yes. Yes, they can. Can you show us how you hold your hands when you do the muscle testing? Yes. Do the pointing like you're pointing. <laughs> That's a weird way of me trying to figure out how to show you. So you're pointing at someone. Okay. Take your hand and I place like, here, let me move back. Um, my index ring, <laughs> index middle and ring finger on top of my hand. I use my pinky in between the knuckle and the whatever that is, the in between. And then I just lightly press. You don't have to like press down. And then when I say yes, I lightly press and I notice like the muscle is not going anywhere. When I say no, it's easy for me to push the muscle down. How many sessions do you need to release trauma? That's on a, per every person is individual. It's, it could be a one and done. It could be a couple. It depends. It really depends on the person. Hey, Marie. 
looking to getting the book. Thanks for all the info energy here. Hey, hey Liz, how are you? Thanks for being here. Highly recommend. I don't know what kind of healing practices that you do, but adding a motion code is phenomenal. Need to release. Somebody's high. Do do some breath work right now, uh, jokers. So breathe in four five, uh, four to six counts. Hold for a couple seconds. Breathe out a couple seconds. Hold. So breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. What is access bars? So access bars is, it helps, it pretty much is a reboot, a reset of the brain. There are 32 points on the head that kind of, um, that can activate different areas of your life. So money, relationships, love, happiness, connection, communication, time and space. And when uh, the, there's like different points. Once you, when you hold these points for a period of time, it resets and activates that area. So it helps you be more aware instead of allowing your, your thoughts, emotions, and feelings dictate your life. It's kind of like you're, you become the observer. It releases beliefs, thoughts, feelings, emotions, anything from the past that no longer serves you. So these beliefs about your health, do you have a uh, a symptom in your body that you're trying to release and get rid of, but you just have this belief that it's impossible? Well, it can get rid of that. Anything to do with relationships? Do you think you're lovable? Do you think relationships last? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like spitting everywhere. Hold on. <laughs> Same thing with money, um, aging, everything. So these points, so the person just lays down and I just place my fingertips in different points of the head for a couple, for a couple minutes, depending. And you might feel some sensations so far with the people that I work with, they feel like a, a vibration in their head or they feel surges of energy. And so that's it. Just activate different points on your head, reset it. And then, yeah. So, excuse me, things that normally trigger you probably won't trigger you anymore. It helps with trauma and it helps with entities as well. So it's a nice, fun way to release, <laughs> release limiting beliefs. I use a pendulum to talk to my higher self. Can I use to help release heart? Well, yes, you can absolutely, absolutely use a pendulum if you are more comfortable with that. All right, scrolling, scrolling. You're welcome. Is there something we can do to stop heart walls from coming back? Um, feeling your emotions and like, so if you experience heartache, I mean, the initial heartache is, is going to hurt, but just be nice to yourself. Allow yourself time to grieve and feel that and be nice to yourself. Um, and then sometimes it's just so, it's so overwhelming. You, ex especially if you're not expecting it, you can create a heart wall, but again, it's easy. It's easy to, it's easy to release. Can you be my English teacher? You do not want me to be an English teacher. Uh, I have, You don't know if your heart was actually removed. It, you can remove it and then it, you experience life and you might get another trapped motion in your heart wall. Access bars is phenomenal. I, I got it done a year ago and I was like, what? Is, like I was done and not, I didn't have any inner dialogue or anything. It was just silent. It was the weirdest sensation I've ever felt in my life. But I was like, this is so cool. And I noticed there were some things like, I didn't notice any symptoms on my body clearing up, but I noticed that things that used to bother me, I had no reaction to. And that's when I was like, there's something to this. So when uh, the person who I who taught me Reiki, she's like, hey, I'm gonna be having someone here to teach access bars. Do you wanna learn? I was like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I just recently learned it and I love it. Hey, Claire. Is it common to feel the majority of the emotions 
Is it common to feel a majority of the emotions on the emotion code chart? Oh yeah, we're humans. We're we're built to create all of these emotions. So it's it's normal. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Or yeah, Melissa, not Michelle. All right, scrolling, scrolling. I'm almost caught up. How do you release the ancestors? Okay, so once you identify, so let's say I'm doing the muscle test, I'm releasing a trapped emotion, I, and I do a test, is in column A? No, it's not. Is in column B? No. When I say, is this inherited? And I get a positive, then I keep going. So then it knows that, it told us that we're working on inherited stuff. So then we just go through the process again. Okay, column A, column B, and just do the whole thing. Now with inherited, we have to, sometimes I normally do, you find out who, who who gave this to you. So we find that out and then to release it, we just use the magnet a little bit longer since it is inherited. And it's cool, so in, if you have kids, if your kids have this trapped emotion, it'll get rid of it uh, from them, it'll get released from them, and then anybody who got it uh, in your family. Hello, hello. If you have trust issues, is that a heart wall? It could be. All right, scrolling, I'm almost caught up. Yes, you're very welcome. I think ever, everybody has the ability to heal themselves. They have to just be open-minded and find the tools and techniques. Um, kind of like, you know, the emotion code. There's a book that teaches you and you can release trapped emotions and you can be free from any symptoms by just doing the emotion code. Can you use rods to release heart wall blocks? What crystals do you use? I don't know if the rods would. I'm not familiar with the rods, so I'm not even going to, I don't know. Um, what crystals do I use? I only use two qu qu crystals. I only use two crystals, uh, clear quartz and selenite. Hi, Maria. Do you have time to do a paid session today? Um, I do have a few openings tonight, depending. I'm on Eastern time. Just send me an email. Send me an email at samantha at leveluphealing.net or go through my website at leveluphealing.net and there's a get in touch. Click that and then I will get back to you and I'll let you know what I have available today. Okay. Any particular magnet? Um, hematite, just this, but you can use any magnet. You can use the fridge magnet. It all works the same. Uh, but I like using these with Reiki. I would love to see if there's any. Okay. So walk-ins. Um, so I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> ghosts are not my thing. I, someone, I actually had a client who told me about walk-ins and it scared me. And I even researched it because it's like, all right, learn what you fear, like investigate that. And that really scared me. And I was like, wait, am I a walk-in? Like, what does this mean? So I don't, I don't know much about walk-ins. I don't know if they're real. I don't know if it's fake. I don't know. Uh, I choose, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, is it, Tony Robin, no, this is Bradley Nelson, the emotion code. Thank you for answering. You're, yeah, you're welcome. I need a break from releasing trapped emotions. <laughs> you can, um, Beatrice, you can use whatever you like. You can, whatever crystal is called to you, use it. That's the crystal for you. Hello, I'm having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I don't know how to say your name. W-I-T-A-K. I don't know how to say that, but I see you. <laughs> Do you always release on your hand? I thought it was your head. It could be either one. So it could be your main meridian or it could be on your hand, your right hand. It could be either one. This just like, this can be... This can be exhausting, especially working one-on-one -on -one with someone. 
you know, running it down their back and everything. I usually have someone lay down on the, the Reiki table, the massage table, and I just need access to the right hand. And then they usually fall asleep. So what's a walk-in? So I don't know much about walk-ins. From the information I, I gathered from the Googles, um, so if I'm wrong, I don't know, do your own research, but a walk-in is when, and I think this is what this person means, is like your soul, soul's like tapped out. Like, I, you know what? I don't want to be here anymore. I'm done. Uh, anybody else want to take over my life? So then this soul leaves and another one takes its place, but it takes all the memories and everything of what the soul had before. That kind of freaks me out. So I don't know. I don't know if that's real. That's just from my my research. You need some magnesium. Hello. I'm the emotion code mama today. <laughs> Find for some self-love. Important to keep your own cup full. Yes, Melissa. <laughs> that's what they told you. I don't know. Like... I think I'm I'm unavailable for walk-ins. I'm um it's not my reality. I don't have that in my reality. Right? You need a walk-in. No, blue echo. You stop it. Amy Leary. Alright, so Yeah, if someone, if another soul wanted to come in and do my dishes for me, I'd be down for that. Yeah, come back, like, take a vacation, you know? All right, so let's, um, let's continue releasing heart walls. Do I believe in ghosts? I do believe in ghosts. I'm... All right, Mandy, I see you. Mandy 40. Wow, I spelled your name completely wrong. Mandy 40. I do believe in ghosts. Um, I learned that you do not show fear or they will like that. It feeds them. So I'm learning to know more about ghosts, so I'm not afraid. <laughs> Uh, Janine, I recommended just the Emotion Code book by Dr. Bradley Nelson. That's the only book I, I recommended. Okay. Oh, thank you, Claire. All right. So how this works is I'm moving my subconscious mind aside. Um, thank you. Why does my heart chakra keep shaking hard? I'm out of line, like during a release. I'm not taking any names right now. I already have someone. I'm just reading a comment. Um, it could be a release. Uh, shaking is usually known as um, associated with releasing trauma in the body. So if you shake. So we are doing a motion code today. And so we're doing heart, heart wall <laughs> removals. And so, um, I lost my train of thought. We've been doing this for almost an hour, maybe a little bit longer. So we're releasing heart walls. The heart wall is something that your good old subconscious mind, your ego has created to protect you. You were vulnerable, you, you, your heart hurt and your subconscious mind's like never again. So it takes the suppressed emotions already in your body and it creates a wall around your heart. Now we get it. The subconscious mind has good intentions, but even though it's protecting us from heartache, grief, pain, it's preventing us from feeling the good emotions. So this can um, prevent us from giving and receiving love properly. So one of the symptoms are difficulty with relationships, communication, uh, feeling numb, depression, and anxiety. You can also have chest pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, and upper back pain clear signs of a heart wall. So we're going to release them one by one. Sometimes if vulnerability is an issue or your subconscious mind only wants to release a few, you may only release 
one to three. If you are just like done over it, like subconscious, get rid of this stuff, then you can release your heart wall in one session. I've only seen it a handful of times. Um, but if your subconscious only releases a couple of them, you're still going to see a huge difference in your life. Okay. So I'm going to move my subconscious mind aside. Welcoming Mandy. Okay, so when I say my name is Mandy, strong. When I say my name is Samantha, it's weak. I will not be able to read your mind, okay? I'm just communicating with the subconscious mind right now. Mandy's subconscious mind. So I'm going to ask, do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped motion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So we ask the subconscious, do you have this? Yes. She does have a heart wall. All right, well, now that we know we have a heart wall, can we release a trapped emotion and get a... Um, permission. Depending on how long we do this, your subconscious mind will be like, nope, we're done. You do have a heart wall, but we're not releasing anymore. And then we just have to accept it. Okay. So Mandy does have a heart wall and our subconscious mind's like, gave us the green light. <laughs> Go get them. So I'm using my chart and we have shame. Did this happen before the age of 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, 12. My brain just short-circuited there. <laughs> I forgot where I was. Do you need to know more? No. So we have the age and the emotion. Now, even though I am working on Mandy, if any of you resonate with the emotion that is uncovered, you know when you resonate with it, you get like a shock in your body, maybe you get like a ping in your stomach, whatever it is, set the intention that as I'm releasing it from Mandy, it gets released from you as well. So the subconscious mind says, we don't need to know anymore, we can go ahead and release it. So I'm going to take a magnet, run it down my right hand a couple of times, setting the intention to release this trapped emotion of shame. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. So we just double check, make sure. I see those cake emojis. Uh, <laughs> so we just do the muscle testing to make sure that we release the trapped emotion. If it says no, then we just continue with the magnet a couple of times. So she had released it. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped motion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So we have unworthy. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? No. After 25? Yes. 25, 26, 27. So unworthy around 27. So give me 26, 27 or 28. Now, if you don't remember anything, that's okay. In the next couple of days, your subconscious might throw a memory at you. Uh, but usually, if you do remember something, it's the first memory that pops in your head. So do you need to know more? No, so we can go ahead and release it. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of unworthy. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall? You can release right now, yes. unworthy. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, 12 years old. <clears throat> Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped motion of unworthy. Did you release the trapped emotion of unworthy? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. Indecisiveness. Indecisiveness. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Yes. After five? No. Zero, one, two, three, and four. Four years old. Do you need to know more? No. Oh no, Claire. <laughs> I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of indecisiveness. You're beautiful, Claire. You're beautiful. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. 
We are Stacy. We're doing the emotion code. We are releasing heart wall. So I'm working with Amanda right now. If I come up with an emotion that resonates with you, like you get that ping, those chills, goosebumps, whatever that means to you when something resonates, uh, set the intention that it releases when I release from Mandy. All right, where was I? Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So we have shame. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, 12 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. Did you release the trapped emotion of shame? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. All right. Here we go. Shock. Hey, if it resonates, let's get rid of it. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? Yes. After 40? No. After 35? Yes. 35, 36, 37. 37, shock. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shock. Did you release the trapped emotion of shock? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes, here we go. We have panic. Did this happen before 20? No. After 20? Yes. After 30? No. After 25? Yes. 25, 26, 27. Panic at 27. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of panic. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. shock. Now, um, someone said something big at, uh, 27. Now it doesn't have to be anything, um, serious. It could have been, you watched a scary movie. You played a scary video game. Um, someone jumped out in front of you and they scared you. So, hi, how are you? So it doesn't have to be anything, um, serious. Okay. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Uh, when I'm done with this, I will, I will, um, I will message you back. All right. So we have shock. All right. Did this happen before the age of 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, 12 years old. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shock. Did you release the trapped emotion of shock? Yes. Yeah. And hey, if I can teach people how to do this, that's, I mean, everybody needs to open up their hearts. I don't know the experience today. I wrote down what we learned from this. Perfect. Definitely resonates. Okay. You, you love it. You're, you're practice. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk <laughs> today. Guys, September hit and everything is going um, uh, you are an emotion code practitioner as well. And you love watching this. Yes. That's awesome. Are you doing, um, do you do body code as well? I am on fire as you do, as you do. All right. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we released eight so far, Mandy. How are you doing? Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion? Um, do you have a trapped emotion in, in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. You haven't done the certification yet? I recommend. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. No, teach us body code. Body code for another day. <laughs> that one, that one's going to take a minute. Good. Awesome. Okay. So we can keep going. We have shame. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? Yes. 15, 16, 17 years old. Shame. 
Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. Did you release the trapped emotion of shame? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? No. So Mandy, you still have a heart wall, but listen, you released one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You released nine trapped emotions from your heart wall. You're going to feel fantastic. Um, but emotional processing may occur. You might feel tired, minor aches and pains, a little emotional, might be short temper, should not last more than a day or so. You just release stuff. Your body has to recalibrate everything. You're very welcome. So I'm going to disconnect. All right. So I'm going to end at 1.30. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions, comments, or concerns? I'm going to get some water. Thank you. Let's see. I wonder. All right. I, I'll do one more. Name and age. Go. Ashley, 35. Got you. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Ashley, 35. A.D. Author. What does... I know this is probably gonna be a silly question, but what does, Ashley, what does ADF stand for? Oh, thank you. You tried it? I tried so many different muscle testing techniques. This was like the easiest one for me and where I could be lazy as well. So I can like lay, lay down, relax and do muscle testing and release stuff on myself, really strapped emotions. Scrolling, scrolling. So I got my Reiki certification in person locally. Uh, I did this back in 2019. There are a number of people who do it. There's um, Jamie, the Reiki healer. She does level one and two. Um, a few other people I can't think of, but I, I really like Jamie. Jamie's my girl. You're welcome. Hello, law enforcement page. How are you? Yeah, and you, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it took some time for it to be easy for me. It didn't, it was not an overnight thing at all. Okay, so, Ashley, I will get to you. I'm, I'm just going through an answering questions, not to interrupt. How does this work for the person you're with? What do they do while you work? They just kind of hang out, sit back and relax. If normally when uh, I'm working with someone in person, I just have them lay down. I ask a bunch of questions. I, I find the, the emotion and the age. And usually I'll be like, hey, do you remember around 17 years old where you felt unworthy? And they'll either say yes, they'll say no, I don't know. I'll ask if they want to investigate if they don't remember. Usually they're like, nah, just get rid of it. So it's more interactive. We more we have more of a conversation. But if they don't, if they're like, yeah, I do remember and they don't want to tell me, then all I do is say, is what you're thinking about the reason for the trapped emotion and do the muscle testing. So we have more we talk more. It's not so like impersonal like I'm doing now. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's so many people here. And if I ask like Ashley a question, I have to sit and wait so I can just quickly identify and release. But in person, there's more interaction. You're the most interesting person I've seen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do you have to be in person to get um, uh, mentored on this or certify. No. Uh, if you go to, I always get the name wrong. Is it discovery healing? 
I think it just a look Google Dr. Bradley Nelson emotion code certification and everything is online. And then you have to test on, I think, 30 people and release three heart walls. At least that's what happened when I was getting my certification. Hey, how are you? <laughs> because I, I love dogs. I love puppers and it senses that. You're welcome. Discover healing. Thank you. Thank you. One time I said discovery healing discover, and I was getting discovery channel mixed up. It's just like a whole thing. Once I get something wrong once, it's forever engraved in my brain. Did Ashley say, can you teach this? I, I won't be able to teach. I don't know what the rules are for teaching this. I would have to look it up. Oh, there it is. Your initials. Okay. <laughs> I see. I see it, Ashley. I got you. All right. Yeah. Take classes online and then you have to pass the test and then you go when you start grab 30 people uh, or 25 people and five dogs or five animals and start testing. She said it was her initials. Yeah, I just saw that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So how this works is I'm going to, you know what? Love of learning. I'm going to follow you. Are you planning on love of learning? Are you planning on um, doing this on TikTok? Because I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay. So like I was saying, I'm going to move my subconscious mind aside. I'm going to welcome Ashley's. All right, cool. So when I say my name is Ashley, strong. When I say my name is Samantha, it's weak. So I'm not Samantha. I'm just communicating with the subconscious mind. I'm not reading your mind, okay? I'm just communicating. We're having a conversation. <laughs> Don't panic. So I'm going to ask, do you have a heart wall? Yes. So you do have a heart wall. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So your subconscious mind said, yeah, you do have a heart wall. And it's also saying, I guess you can release a trapped emotion for now. So it gave us permission to move forward and identifying what is made out of your heart wall. So I'm going to use my chart filled with tons of emotions. So we have shame. Did this happen before the, how old are you? 35. Uh, did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Yes. After five? No. Zero, one, two, three years old. I may have to release some trapped emotion. But listen, listen, love of learning. It's terrifying, but you, sometimes you just got to take that leap. <laughs> you might hit some, um, rocks when you, you know, jump on the, off that cliff and just do it, but that's okay. It's part of learning. Be okay with making mistakes. Yesterday is my first time. I could really, 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 really That's awesome. All right, so shame three, three. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Listen. Um, yeah. Be okay with making mistakes. That's how you learn. Uh, I think we spend too much time being perfect that it paralyzes us and we don't do anything. If you look at my Instagram and you go to the first post and just look through like the first month of stuff, you can tell I'm trying to figure things out. Like what worked, what didn't work. And then I kind of found my groove. Same thing with being on TikTok. I didn't, I spent too much time figuring out what other people are doing and try doing what they were doing. And it just didn't feel good or authentic. So then I kind of moved away from that and started doing my own thing and it felt good and it wasn't as scary. So instead of being like, I don't want to make this mistake, be like, what mistakes can I make this week? Because it makes it seem like mistakes aren't bad. You learn from it. I mean, how many times did, was it Edison fail at creating the light bulb? Probably like a billion. So never give up. Make mistakes. Learn from them. Nobody's perfect. I still make mistakes. Were you on this live yesterday? Lord have mercy. All right. What am I doing? So... <laughs> So do you have a heart wall? So we're focusing on Ashley. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall? You can release right now. Yes. Shock. 
Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11 years old. Exactly. That's how you learn. Oh, thank you, Michael. So shock, 11 years old. Do you need to know more? No. Oh, thank you. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shock. Did you release the trapped emotion of shock? Yes. Thank you, love of learning. I appreciate it. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? Yes. So we have shame. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? Yes. Before birth? No. After birth? Yes. After five? Yes. Five, six, seven. Seven years old. Shame. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of shame. Did you release the trapped emotion of shame? Yes. Good morning. Good afternoon. We are doing emotion code, Jason. Releasing heart walls. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. You have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now. Yes. We have discouragement. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? No. 10, 11, and 12. 12 years old? Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of discouragement. Did you release the trapped emotion of discouragement? Yes. Um, do you have a heart wall? Yes. You have a trapped emotion in your heart wall? You can release right now. Yes. Unworthy. Did this happen before 20? Yes. Before 10? No. After 10? Yes. After 15? Yes. 15. 15. Do you need to know more? No. I set the intention to release the trapped emotion of unworthy. <clears throat> Did you release this trapped emotion? Yes. Do you have a heart wall? Yes. Do you have a trapped emotion in your heart wall you can release right now? No. So Ashley, you still have a heart wall, but you released one, two, three, four, five. You released five trapped emotions in your heart wall. You're going to feel fantastic. You're going to notice the difference, but how do you feel? So I'm going to disconnect. So just waiting. Hello. You feel emotional. Normal. It is normal. When I released my uh, my first trapped emotion in my heart wall, I was a hot mess. I was like crying hysterically. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> it's normal. So when emotions do come up, it's okay. Just feel them. Don't suppress them. Or um, then they're just going to stay in your body. So I do feel emotional. This is fascinating. I do have a heart wall. I have been practicing much. Please do it on me. So I'm going to, I'm actually done. That was the last person that I was going to be working on today, but I can, if you guys have any questions, I can answer them really quick. I know Pisces, you know, Pisces, please. Next time I got you. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? All right. So you're very welcome. Yes. Good. Good afternoon, Mike. Thank you. So thank you so much. You're, oh, thank you. And I look forward to seeing more of your content on TikTok, Love of Learning. I'll be watching. I'll be looking for you. <laughs> You're having a midlife crisis. Why? How long did it take you? How long did it take me to learn this? Um, it's, I'm trying to think. Once I, so I heard about this and I was like, what is this? What is this emotion code thing? I actually learned about the heart while I was like, what is this? And I was kind of skeptical. So I bought the book and I was reading it. And so when I, I started releasing trapped emotions for myself and my, uh, my heart wall, 
I was like hooked because I, I felt fantastic. So I was forcing people to do a motion code. I had so many guinea pigs. I was like, we're doing a motion code, we're doing a motion code. And just because it was so powerful and I loved it so much, I was doing it all the time. So I'd say, but even like uh, practicing on people and ha having the confidence may have took me a little bit. I don't remember how long, but just being more confident in my abilities and trusting because it's like, it's a new, it's a new technique. It's going to take you some time. But once, you know, you have a, a good amount of people that you practice on, then it's like, it's, what is it? Uh, second nature. Okay, hold on. I'm going, I'm going back up and I'm going through the comments again. So it's really, so how long you do it, how many times you practice will um, determine how long it takes you, but it's pretty simple. Don't overthink it. You have no content. Well, I expect content. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't, don't force yourself if you, you don't feel comfortable, but just know uh, you have my support. Our subconscious is connected with divine truth. Yes job struggles and life purpose stuff. I'm sorry, Pisces, please. You got hooked with the magnet, Reiki? Oh yeah. Can we know if we have a heart wall on our own? Yes, you can find out if you have a heart wall. Uh, you can do muscle testing. You could do the sway test. If you're, um, if you have a pendulum, you can uh, see. If you have one, all you have to do is talk to your subconscious mind. Just ask, do I have a heart wall? And do the muscle test. And it will tell you whether or not you have one. Now, if it says no, ask if it's hidden. <laughs> and then do the muscle test again. Can you open chakras the same way? Yeah, you're very powerful. You can visualize your chakra and visualize it opening up. There is no time and space. You, you're more powerful than you think. It's just energy. Everything is energy. So your intention is powerful. So just say, I set the intention to open up my throat chakra. You can visualize it opening up. You can listen to music that has that frequency of the chakra. Just struggling with what I'm doing here on the planet altogether, trying to find my purpose. Stop trying to find it and just start following things that make you happy and you will find your purpose. That is what I did. Because if you are overthinking too much, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? You become stuck, you become paralyzed, you become stressed, and then you overthink. Uh, and you have a midlife crisis like I had. So just, just tell yourself right now, I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I know that I will be guided to what I need to do. And then just start doing things that make you happy and you will find it. Have a good one. Forcing them. I don't know what you mean, Robert. So the body code is a step further from, from a motion code. I need to drink water. So emotion code focuses on emotions and the body code focuses on every aspect of your body. So there are six different categories. There's emotional wellness, there's circuit or system, toxins, pathogens, misalignments, and nutrition and lifestyle. So within each category are subcategories within subcategories. So we uncover limiting beliefs. We uncover imbalances in your organs, bones, muscles. Now this doesn't mean that they're failing. Like if we find out that your stomach's imbalanced, it just means that the communication between your stomach and your brain is off. You may have some trapped emotions in there. There's so many different things. Uh, we do chakras, meridians, um, anything with the spirit, auras, what else? pathogens, viruses, talk everything. So it's more in depth as to what is going on in your body, what is creating the symptoms in your body, physically, emotionally, mentally. <laughs> My brain. Yes, that's awesome. I think everybody should learn at least level one Reiki, um, learned how to heal themselves, but you can, anybody, can do um, 
there's there's so many different healing modalities out there. So you just kind of have to find the one that works for you. I like thinking about um, different types of working out. Some people like dancing. Some people like kickboxing. Some people like lifting, yoga. So that's kind of like with energy healing. You just have to find out which which one works for you. Hello. Oh, thank you. What do you do when it's hidden? So when you uncover that your heart chakra, or your heart chakra, heart wall is hidden, once you made it aware that it was hidden, just say, do I have a heart wall? Do the test again, and it should be positive. Because you, you just outed the subconscious. Do you go live at a particular time? No, I've been working on that. I've been working on that. I, you, I've been trying to go on... Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, the times differ. And I was thinking of maybe Mondays being like a question question and answer, kind of like a mindset Monday type thing. So what do you want to talk about? Energy healing, your mindset, your subconscious mind, kind of everything. Because my passion is the subconscious mind and um, what goes on in here, limiting beliefs. That's my passion. And I think it's a, it's a huge tool for everybody to learn because everything starts here. Your brain is the mothership and everything else follows. So more will be revealed on that one. I haven't seen anything like this before. You really like it? Oh yeah. The story of my life in 20s. You know, you know how many quarter life crises this, 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 this I've had in my life? <laughs> Too many. You know what? And you're 26. My theory is that when you're about to turn 25, you it's like that's when your brain fully develops and that's when you have a midlife or a quarter life crisis. So I think everybody has a mental breakdown around 25 years old. That's my theory. So far proven true. I thought we were not supposed to ask Hartwell for her hidden emotion. Says who? You're asking if there's a hidden heart wall. You mentioned that you force people to unlock their heart wall. No, I never said that. I said that. I never said that. Love the analogy. You ask if it's hidden, and then. So, okay. When you are working on your, I think this is where, what you're thinking about. If you are asking your subconscious if you have a heart wall and it says no, this is your subconscious telling you, this may be your subconscious telling you that lying to you to protect you, saying like, there is no heart wall, it's lying because it wants to protect you. This is your protective barrier. That's why when you ask again, do you have a hidden heart wall? then your subconscious mind will probably say, yes, you do. And so then when you say after that, when you realize it was hidden, it has come to light, you've outed the subconscious mind, then you ask again, do you have a heart wall? And your subconscious mind will say yes. Then you ask permission to release the trapped emotion in the heart wall. So you have to identify if it's there. If it is, you ask if you can release it. And if it says no, then you stop. If it says yes, you proceed. The, I don't know how much the class is uh, on Discover Healing, but it's discoverhealing.com. I'm pretty sure. Talk about t-shirt, please. Okay, so today's t-shirt is brought to you by Jaws and Cats. <laughs> so it is paws, and if you're familiar with Jaws, it's a paw. It's a kitty cat paw. Actually, funny story, I went to a party last weekend and I wore this shirt and, you know, conversation starter. And I've been told I'm intimidating. So I was like, all right, well, if I have a shirt with a cat paw, it kind of made me not intimidating. So anyways, someone came up to me. And they're like, oh, I really like your shirt. And I was like, thank you. And they're like, well, what does it mean? I was like, what? What do you what do you mean? And I thought they were joking with me. And I was like, what do you mean? What does it mean? They're like. I've never seen that before. Like, what does it mean? And so I was so thrown off by it because this person is older than me. And Jaws is, is iconic, especially in the United States. This movie is on all summer 
especially on holiday weekends, like on repeat. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> and in the United States, people are obsessed with cats. If you did not know, fun fact. So I was just thrown off by it. And all I, <laughs> this is what I said. I was so caught off guard. I was like, sharks and cats. That's all I said. <laughs> and someone rescued me. I think it was my sister. She's like, it's kind of a joke with Jaws and it's a cat paw. And she's like, oh, she's like, oh, you like cats? I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I was, and then I went to the grocery store and someone commented on the shirt. They're like, I've never seen Jaws before, but I recognize the, po like, this is the poster and you have Jaws coming up. So I don't know. I was thrown off by that. It, it <sighs> I always put your two videos when working. And I was like, oh, good, Mike. I'm glad you're, you love the videos. What was the online class? This is just to get certified in emotion code. You go to discover healing, just Google Dr. Bradley Nelson, emotion code certification. Oh yeah, I had one at 24 and 25. I had a quarter life crisis. Hello, yeah, Lemming Blaze. So, so, and I think a lot of people don't understand that li your limiting beliefs is just you living in the past, meaning something happened to you in the past, your ego thinks it's gonna happen again. So you have defense mechanisms and limiting beliefs. So it thinks that it's, it can happen at any time. Whenever you, are about to get in contact or you are in contact with something familiar from that, you freak out and it's like, oh my gosh, stranger danger. So. Okay, scrolling. I'm afraid my religious family will think this stuff is bad. It's just, I learned that you can't force someone to change their point of view or their perspective. So based on how someone was raised, you can't really change their mind. You can help them change their perspective by showing them that like, no, this is actually a science. Like if you bring science into it, it usually calms people down. What happens if you do a, if you do force it to release? I've never done a force release before. I usually I respect the subconscious mind. You're not in too many ear delay. Oh well, you haven't seen me in person. <laughs> you haven't seen the movie, but you get the reference. Yeah, everybody everybody knows what Jaws is. You're seeing theaters this weekend. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just reading through the comments really quick. I'm catching up. Oh, glad to see it. Glad you're here, David. Very proud of you. Yeah, Dr. Bradley, he has um, he has the emotion code book and rumor has it the body code book is coming out. It makes people want to run for you at the same time. I mean, I guess true. But I mean, the cat paw should kind of like soften it. So I don't know when I'm going to do another emotion code session on the live. It would, if you would like to book with me. I do offer sessions, 30 minutes and an hour. Everything is on my website at levelupheeling.net or you can go to the link in my bio. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you don't want to force. Okay, show me the way. Encourage. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Because my mods are phenomenal. I love my mods. They are on point. The 
red and yellow McDonald's. I remember learning about that. This is weird not to remember my childhood shame, or is it? No, it's some, like I said, so your subconscious mind, when releasing emotions, sometimes it's just like, all you need to know is the emotion and the age. We don't need to uncover your past, boo. We're good with that. I just want to let you know that you experience shame at this time, and that's all we need to know, and release it. There's nothing wrong. It's not trying to protect you. Sometimes it's just like, why even bring it up? But that's why if the next couple of days, your if your subconscious mind wants you to remember, you'll get a flash of a memory. May see you soon. Oh, I better. This is not a Reiki session. This is just emotion code. I'm going to, after I'm done reading these comments, I'm going to go. I'm interested in your content. A little nervous. I'll watch and see if we go help. Okay, yeah. Have an open mind and see if it works. Hello. I saw that September 8th. I thought it was the 9th, but thank you. September 8th. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Love that movie. Cannot wait. You're welcome. All right, let's see. I saw some. I definitely had a compliment, right? Conversation starter. What happens if you don't drink enough water after energy healing set? You just might feel off. Like, if you ever get dehydrated, kind of like that tired, achy feeling, you're very welcome. Love of healing. How do you put away ego and self-doubt when practicing? You can't really put away ego or self or ego. Ego is always going to be there. So find out why you are having the self-doubt. What belief, what stories do you have about self-doubt? Do you believe you're not good enough? Do you believe you can't do it? Do you believe you're not powerful enough? Like what, kind of uncover that. Start asking yourself questions about why you feel this way. And then you all come to the limiting belief and then you change the story. Be like, I'm amazing at Reiki. I don't need to worry about anything. I am the most amazing energy healer out there. I'm confident in my abilities. I know what I'm doing. Yes, definitely uh, learn about the emotion code. Empire of the Sun was a great movie. Okay, he might. Do you, you can do self sessions with Reiki, but sometimes I get lazy. And some of the Reiki practitioners I follow on TikTok, I know what, <laughs> sometimes I know when someone will be on. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I just kind of. Get the distance Reiki. Can you recite the question to ask the subconscious to try to Can you recite the question to ask the subconscious to try it yourself? What do you mean by that? I don't understand that. Hello, Simon. We are at the end of our emotion code session. I'm just answering questions right now and about to chug some water. Whenever I do energy healing, my eyes get so dry. I don't know if it's because I don't blink or that's just like one of my symptoms. I see Reiki is about, a, no, absolutely, no, no, should not be a thousand dollars. Nope, 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 nope. Your Reiki, so, okay, so is that with all three of them? No. Um, so if it's with Reiki one, two and master level, okay, I can kind of see it. But if it's for Reiki level one for a thousand, absolutely not. Stranger danger, run the other way. Is there a way you can get blocked emotions to come to the surface to be pro? Uh, yeah, you can just, whenever emotion pops up, you can sit with it. You can do EFT tapping as well. I don't know what that means. Ribbons on your feet. I don't know what that means. Thank you. Do you find you get super thirsty when you're doing? Yes, I do. And mostly like the eyes. Yeah, exactly. For level one, it should be between like, I've seen people who charge $150 to 300. It should not be a thousand. Oh my gosh, I almost fell out of my chair when I saw that. <laughs> yeah, it, your first level, if people are charging a ridiculous amount, run the other way. 
The ones... Okay, the ones you were asking about the heart wall. All right, what was your question before that? I completely forgot. Let me... Like, so when you ask, do you have a heart wall? Do the muscle testing. If it says no, ask yourself, do you have a hidden heart wall? Do the muscle testing. If you... If it says no, then you don't have a heart wall. If it says yes, then you just outed the subconscious mind. Then you go back and you say, do you have a heart wall? You should get a positive read. And then you ask if you can release the trapped emotion in your heart wall now. What do you know about people who drink stuff and what they have in the next day? I, I don't know. It could be a manifestation. I try new things. So good at knowing that everything we were taught is a lie. Yes. Pretty much we from age birth, maybe not exactly at birth, but birth until around seven years old, we are soaking up everything in our lives and we're interpreting everything. We're forming conclusions. So if we see two people fighting about money, we might be like, oh, this money thing might be bad. I don't want any of it. So you form a limiting belief that money is bad. So when you're an adult and you're wondering why you can't make any money is because you have a program, a limiting belief that money is bad. So why would you hold on to it if this money is bad? So it's all about paying attention to everything that's happening in your life, paying attention to your thoughts because your subconscious mind never lies, except about a heart wall, <laughs> then it will lie. Thank you. I'll see you later. I got razor. Yeah, two hundred and twenty dollars for both one and two. Yeah, that's that's about average. Well, you don't want to kill off your subconscious. Are you talking about your ego? You don't want, and it's just working with the ego. It's not like killing off the ego. Oh, eighteen dollars. Wow. I don't know. That's something that you're going to have to explore, Simon. I'm not familiar with any of that. So um, the muscle testing leaning forward and backwards, it's just called the sway test. Same thing. <laughs> Everybody keeps wanting me to teach Reiki. I'm like, all right, I, I, I have to put it together. I've just been so busy. Yeah, um, and that's what I didn't like because people are, they make the ego seem like it's so evil and so bad, but when you really think about it, it's just the past version of yourself is trying to protect you. So you kind of learn to de-escalate it, work with it, because it's telling you why, uh, telling you what you're holding on to, your limiting beliefs. So if you work with it as a friend or old version of yourself, it, it there's not a lot of resistance. I mean, I am, I do post videos on YouTube uh, about like mindset and all that. I have a bunch of videos I'm going to be posting along. I went through a period where I was just like not in the mood to do it. And I don't force myself to record if I'm not in the mood. There's so many. How do you know good quality Reiki class versus the one? Um, so I would follow the Reiki practitioner that you're thinking about following. I like... So there is, on YouTube, there's this phenomenal Reiki practitioner. I've been following her for years. Her YouTube channel is Mainstream Reiki, I believe. She's like this cute, cute little lady. And so she teaches classes, um, affordable. And then there's um, Jamie, the, the Reiki healer on TikTok. I really like her. I did a live with her. And then Nicole, the Reiki healer on TikTok. She teach, I believe she teaches. I believe she teaches. So those are the ones that I, I really like. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go. I got things I got to do. <laughs> so thank you all for being here. And it is super bright. The sun is here. Oh, 
Uh, do you have to be certified or can you learn by watching other people? So we all have the ability to do this with, if you're talking about rate, are you talking about Reiki? What are you talking about? Emotion code. So emotion code, you don't have to be certified in it. If you want to pay people or charge people, you have to get a, uh, you have to get certified in it. But in the book, the emotion code, he teaches you everything with Reiki. We all have the ability to do this. So we have the ability to heal ourselves. You can visualize the energy going to through our head, <laughs> through the top of the head, your heart and out your hands and placing your hands wherever the chakra is or a symptom. But if you wanted to learn the specific practice, then you have to get certified. Think of it as we all are therapists, counselors. We give advice. People come to us, we give advice for free. We're all experts in it. But if you want to start getting, uh, start charging people, do that as a career, then you have to get certified. And there's different types of therapy, counseling, psychiatrists. There's different types. And there's different types of Reiki as well, or different types of energy healing modalities. You just have to find the right one. So we all have the ability to do this. You just have to kind of pick and choose which one. So I'm going to go. If you would like to work with me, I do emotion code, body code, Reiki, and mindset coaching. And for in-person sessions only, I do access bars. So if you're in the Akron, Ohio area, and you want some access bars or any of the other energy healing modalities you would like to work with me, let me know. So I do video and in-person. Everything is in the link in my bio or you can go to leveluphealing.net. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. I might be here tomorrow or on Monday. And if not, have a fabulous weekend. If you are in the United States, have a wonderful and safe holiday weekend. I will see you guys later.